This year, we are very lucky because uh, we had a sighting of close to 2,000 flamingos. That's one of the largest flocks. But overall, I'm told that there is about 4,000 uh, flamingos here right now in Mena, in different parts, in the Salterns, the lagoons and all that. Up in Mena, thousands of greater flamingos, the largest of the flamingo species, have settled into the region's salt turns, lagoons and wetlands for the winter. A flock of about 2,000 of these birds was captured on camera by conservationist Sarath Pereira in early January. Sri Lanka, we get the greater flamingo. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, again, I'm no bird expert, but there are six types of flamingos worldwide. And the greater flamingo or has seen in Sri Lanka in uh, mostly Jaffna, Mana and Bundela. But I think uh, Mana has been a significant uh, landmark for them just because of the food uh, sources they have there. It's uh, called uh, algae and crustaceans that they eat and that gives them the color pink. So, you know, when they usually come, let's say in December, they are not as pink as they would be in April because the more they eat, uh, they get the pink colors. The birds stay on the island from December up until April every year to avoid the harsh European winters. Pereira first learned about the birds while on a trip to Kenya in 2016. At the time, he was unaware that they also visited Sri Lanka. I got to know about these birds when I went to Kenya and I saw the flamingos then. I was quite impressed with those birds. When I came back to Sri Lanka, I don't remember who someone said, hey, we have these birds coming to Sri Lanka and I was like, what? I, I mean, I just went to Kenya just to uh, see animals and I saw this bird. Uh, I think uh, that was how it started. While Pereira has been travelling to Manar to see flamingos ever since, it has been difficult to make the trip over the past two years due to COVID-19 related travel restrictions. However, he managed to travel there this January, which is when he captured this footage. Uh, near the Air Force camp, there's a uh, uh, runway uh, strip and right across back, there's a small watering hole, uh, more like a wetland. Uh, so, I mean, we had to park our vehicles uh, somewhere else and do a small trip of close to uh, three, four hundred meters uh, in a very muddy, mushy area. But uh, I mean, it was all worth it because we hid under a canopy of trees because uh, we didn't want to disturb these animals and uh, we just Kind of from morning 9 to uh, morning 11 o'clock, we spent time there. He came back again in the evening, settling down in the same spot to admire the birds from a distance. This sighting this year is unbelievable. Seeing 2,000 flamingos flying is just magical, you know. Continuously the flock kept flying, flying, and it was just an unbelievable experience. The birds will remain on the island until April, when they will return to Europe for the spring and summer. But they may not keep returning to Sri Lanka for much longer, Pereira says, because of increasing pollution. Along with his brother and cousin, he advocates for eco-snapping, a sustainable method of wildlife photography where they spend roughly half an hour picking up trash and cleaning up the area around where they take their photographs. You know, these birds come for a specific reason. They come for the food and more it gets polluted, they are going to leave. And uh, we don't want them, right? Another potential factor driving away migrant bird populations in Mana is the recent invasion of bird watchers from Colombo flying drones in the area. The Wildlife and Nature Protection Society are working to have the area declared a no-fly zone by appealing to the Civil Aviation Authority due to the drones which are being flown at low altitudes causing great anxiety to the birds due to their noise and resemblance to aerial predators. This season, the greater flamingos in Mena have retreated deeper into the lagoon due to the disturbance. Wildlife experts have warned that these and other migrant species, if driven away, may never return.